Hey guys, welcome to uh, Step by Step Farming. This is Yvonne. This is a little different kind of video that I wanted to share with you all. The questions I want to ask is, do you want to be healthy? Do you want to live a long and productive life? Do you want to be around for your family when, when things happen? Do you want to be more prepared physically? You know, do you want to be in better shape and things like that? And I know that I do. And the reason why I'm putting this video out is because this channel is not just to help prepare you all step by step, you know, give you instructions how to be more self-sufficient, how to be more prepared in case of man-made or natural um, disasters, but also to help inspire you to be healthier for your family because we need our families when these things happen. We're going to need each other. We're going to need our families around to help us to survive when these things go down, y'all. So I wanted to share my husband's channel. He has a channel. It's called Wiser With Your Health. And in that, he is more geared towards people who are trying to be healthier. They have no idea where to start. He struggled with food addictions before in the, in the past, but he is going through a journey. And this journey is he is understanding now the wisdom of being healthy. He's changing so many things. In this video though, he's gonna explain to you all the importance of water, drinking water, not just storing it, but consuming it in your body, what, what the benefits are why you need it, how you can be healthier from it. So if you, you know, just stay tuned to the end, please, if you don't mind, listen to everything he has to say. If you enjoy his channel, he has more information about other things. Subscribe and share. Um, just like. If you feel like someone could benefit from it, just go ahead and share it to him. We love you guys. We, uh, we really appreciate you guys. Uh, coming on and listening to us. Um, we hope that things are beneficial to you all that we're putting out. If you guys have other things you would like for us to put out, please let us know. But we love you guys and we appreciate you with all of our hearts. Thanks you. Have a good one. Hey, welcome back. My name is Ed Logan. I'm your host of the show, Wiser With Your Health. And here we actually discuss things of health issues. Um, this channel is actually set up for helping those who are struggling with their weight, for those who have health issues. Um, and not that this channel teaches you how to get rid of your health issues um, by no means. And let me say that I'm not a doctor. I'm not a nutritionist. I'm simply a person whose life has been changed and I'm trying to help other people by what I do and what I have done. So um, this is what this is all about. It's about me sharing my life with other people and the things that I come across that I see that is benefiting me, I want to share and give to others. Hey, before we get started, if you would, please hit subscribe. Also, give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment. Uh, it all works with the YouTube uh, algorithm um, so that people who are out there who are like me, who are like us, they can get this information. All right. So today we're going to be talking about water. <laughs> now, I don't know if you are like me. Maybe probably there's nobody like me. Listen, I don't like to drink water. I'm just going to be honest with you. Hey, I grew up on uh, Kool-Aid. I don't know if any of you all knew Kool-Aid growing up. I tang uh, sodas. I grew up on fruit punches. That That is what I grew up with for the majority of my life as a child. And when thing, when I got older, it became other things. But all of those things produce a consequence in our lives. OK, all of the sugar that is placed in those drinks, it's addictive. So today we're going to discuss the boring non flavor water and water. Sometimes 
by us, those who have grown up the way that I have, gets a bad rap. <laughs> because number one, it does not taste good when you're drinking it with a meal. It just doesn't. Um, it, it doesn't give you uh, an excitement when you drink it. It doesn't make your taste buds pop. It doesn't make your glands uh, shoot saliva while you're drinking it. It just doesn't. It's actually a boring liquid. However, on the other hand, it is a life-giving substance. And we cannot take anything away from water. First of all, listen. The, the battle is tough, okay? Um, when you go to the grocery stores, Look at all the things that are on the shelves, all the fruit juices, um, all the fruit punches, all the soft drinks, as people like myself, we used to call it pop. <laughs> people call it soda. You know, all the so all of the drinks that are out there that are full of sugar. I don't care what anybody says, highly addictive because it tastes good. And when you go into the grocery stores, it's like you're literally having a fight. You're having to pick a fight between good and evil. Now, some of you will say it's about moderation. And, and that is true. That is. For a lot of people, it is about moderation. And moderation is not a big deal to a lot of people. But to people who are like me, for those of you who are listening to me, for people who are like us, there is no moderating. I'm either in or I'm out. Either I'm going to drink it or I'm not going to drink it. See, I'm smart enough to know me and to go and play with it. And it's been the God of my stomach for all these years. I can't do that. I have to come clean and I have to admit to myself that I can't handle it. And it's okay to admit that. There's nothing wrong with admitting that we can't handle it. All right? So if we can't handle it, we can't handle it. So we don't put ourselves in those situations to have that. All right? So for me, I can't drink Kool-Aid. <laughs> it brings back childhood memories. For me, I can't go out and drink soda. Now, I will say this. I, I will drink a ginger ale if my stomach is not feeling well. Or if I have to, I'll drink a Sprite if, you know, my stomach is not right for some reason. I will do that. But if it's not for a somewhat of a medicinal purpose for my, uh, for my gut, for my stomach to fizz up, whatever is going on in there, I, I literally, I just don't drink it. Um, I can't drink it for pleasure um, because that's what I had problems with, with food and with drink. It's, it is with the pleasure of the taste of it. So if you have a highly addictive um, personality when it comes to things like that, like I do, those are just things that we actually choose to stay away from. So today we're going to talk about water, water, water is very, 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 very important to us. Matter of fact, we cannot live without water. We can go a cup several weeks without food, but when it comes to water, you can't live more than two or three days without water, okay? So, and I understand that we do get water from all of those drinks, those types of drinks, but that's not the, the base of it is water itself, but water, when you drink water, it has no calories or anything to it. Water is good for flushing your system, but when you drink a soft drink, you're adding things into that. You're adding calories. You drink fruit juices, you're adding calories. You're adding sugar um, to your bloodstream. So there's a difference between drinking straight water, good, clean, filtered water, and there is a difference between drinking the soft drinks and the fruit, ju fruit juices and things like that. So um, as I do, I, I want to make sure that I give proper information. OK, so let's look at uh, an article. We're not going to look at a couple. We're just going to look at one because really all you need is one. And, and we know that it's true. So this is going to be by Mayo Clinic, <clears throat> Mayo Clinic. Um, and it's talking about nutrition and healthy eating. But this aspect is going to be about water. 
Okay, let's look at this. Water. How much should you drink every day? Water is essential to good health. Are you getting enough? These guidelines can help you find out how. So for those of you who are like me, who really didn't know the requirements of water, how much water we should be taking in to our bodies, uh, hopefully this will be a good article for you and you can go back and look it up for yourself. Um, all right, so how much water should you drink each day? It is a simple question with no easy answer. Studies have produced varying recommendations over the years, but your individual water needs depend on many factors, including your health, how active you are, and where you live. And that is uh, very true, very true. Okay, what are the health benefits of water? And this is why we want to drink water, because there are health benefits to drinking water. There are no health benefits to drinking fruit juices. I mean, the, the fruit juices that are loaded with the sugar. Um, there is no benefit to drinking soda unless you're going to use the carbonation for a medicinal purpose. For, like I said, if you've eaten something and your stomach doesn't quite agree and your stomach doesn't really feel good, um, you know, you can use soda for those types of things. So what are the health benefits of water? Water is your body's principal chemical component and makes up about 50 to 70 percent of your body weight. That's water. Your body depends on water to survive. Every cell, tissue and organ in your body needs water to work properly. For example, water gets rid of waste through urination, perspiration and bowel movements. It keeps your temperature normal. It lubricates and cushions joints protects sensitive tissues. Lack of water can lead to dehydration, a condition that occurs when you do not have enough water in your body to carry out normal functions. Even mild dehydration can drain your energy and make you tired. How much do you need? Every day you lose water through your breath, perspiration, urine, and bowel movements. For your body to function properly, you must replenish its water supply by consuming beverages and foods that contain water. So how much fluid does the average healthy adult living in a temperate climate need? Okay, listen to this. The U.S. National Academies of Science, Engineering and Medicine determine that an adequate daily fluid intake is this. About 15.5 cups or 3.7 liters of fluid a day for men. About 11.5 cups, which is 2.7 liters of fluid a day for women. Okay, so it's giving us about what we need. We need to take this actually probably at a minimum um, every day for us. And, you know, it really, it, it really does depend on what you are doing uh, with your body. How do I know if I'm drinking enough? And then listen, your fluid intake is probably adequate if you rarely feel thirsty. Your urine is colorless or light yellow. You know, if you don't drink a lot of water, your urine can be a very dark yellow, including turning to a brown. And that just shows you that you are dehydrated or you are not putting the proper amount of water uh, in your body. Your doctor or dietitian can help you determine the amount of water that's right for you every day to prevent dehydration and make sure your body has the fluids it needs. Make water your beverage of choice. It is a good idea to drink a glass of water with each meal and between meals before during and after exercise, and if you feel thirsty, should I worry about drinking too much water? <laughs> See, there's always been a lot of tales to why people don't drink water and uh, you can drink too much water. Listen to the article. It says drinking too much water is rarely a problem for healthy, well-nourished adults. Athletes occasionally may drink too much water in an attempt to prevent dehydration during long or intense exercises. When you drink too much water, your kidneys can't get rid of the excess water. 
the sodium content of your blood becomes diluted. This is called hypertremia and it can be life threatening. So there is a plat a place that you can reach where you're drinking too much water. Okay. Um, but many of us rarely get to that point where you're drinking absolutely too much water. Okay. So now I just want to share with you what, what I have uh, been doing. Um, so now that I know really how important water is and also filtered water, I'll do a video on that before long. I actually use a Berkey system to do our water. And maybe I'll talk about that and bring that on one day for those of you who want to know about good, healthy drinking water. Uh, it takes water out of the tap and it turns it into good, nourishing water. So, but anyway, that's for another topic. Uh, so what I have started to do is, or what I've been doing now for about 10 weeks is I've been making sure that I drink adequate water. If I have to drink something different besides water, I will take me a couple of lemons, put it in a glass and put some agave nectar in it and I'll make my own lemonade. Um, but other than that, that I pretty much just drink water now and water was rarely ever a part of my life. So for me, what I did was uh, I got me a big drinking jug. As a matter of fact, <laughs> I had to get me an encouraging drinking jug. And this is one gallon of water. And I try to drink on the days that I'm working. No problem. I lay it out in, within one day and probably drink a little bit more than that. Uh, but on a day, I find it harder to drink water on the days that I don't work. It, when I'm home, um, it's harder for me to think about water. But when I'm work, you know, at work, it's easy for me to think about water and for this jug right here, I'll pop the top and it's got a little um, plastic straw at the top of it and it goes all the way down to the bottom and sucks the water off of the bottom. The only thing that I don't like about these jugs is um, they don't keep my water cool and I love cold water and cold water is not the best for you. I know it's not lukewarm water room temperature water is the best because that's what your body is. Um, but like I said, when I'm at home, it's hard for me to remember to drink the uh, um, proper amount of water that I need. And I really believe that I'm a, a gallon of water a day guy. Um, but anyway, I, I do have this. I have a link for it. If you like one of these, um, I do have a link for it in the description. Uh, but this is what I use um, to get through my day and to drink water because I have never been uh, a water drinker. So. I hope that you understand that through by that article, that's just one article. There's many articles out there, but just through that one article, how important that drinking water is. If your urine is dark brown, you have a problem. OK, you're not getting enough liquid. And I know that because I've been through it. OK, so let's try to clear that urine up and get it uh, really, really high yellow to where almost to the point where it looks like water, just straight water coming out. And yes, you'll go to the bathroom more often, but your body will slightly adjust to that. Um, but that way you're keeping, uh, your, you're keeping your flow going. And let me tell you this before we part. If you're dehydrated, it is hard on your heart. Now, I was told this by a doctor. Um, one day I went to have uh, a, a physical um, for DOT physical and my blood pressure was up. But the doctor told me, um, and this was about a couple of years ago, he says, have you had any water today? I said, I had a cup of coffee. He says, no, have you had water? I said, no, um, I haven't had any water today. He says, I want you to go out in the lobby and I want you to sit and drink as much water as you can drink until you start urinating. So I said, OK, so I went out and sat in the lobby. I drank as much water as I could drink. I was out there probably about 35, 45 minutes. And then I had to start going to the bathroom. And when he rechecked my blood pressure, my blood pressure was down. He says, if you do not hydrate your body, you cause your body to work, your uh, heart to work harder because you do not have enough liquid in your blood for your heart to pump. So once again, that was a lesson learned. So if you want to keep your, your blood flowing with the proper amount of uh, fluid in your blood, you've got to keep that water. You've got to drink that water. Very important that we do that, y'all. Um, and I'm so sorry that this video was long, but this is how important water is. 
So get you a big jug of water and start swigging that water down. It's going to start pushing all those those fat cells that you're losing. It's going to start pu uh, pushing all those in top those things that are toxic to your body out. And also, it'll help you have a bowel movement for you ladies. <laughs> all right. So thank you all for joining me. Hey, I hope this was some good information. I pray that you really hear what I'm saying. I'm just simply sharing my life with you all. And I would love to see all of us become more healthy. All right. So you all take care and I will see you next time. Bye bye. Peace. Thank you.